everybody. It's Unit 7 Optional Practice Test. Let's get started. Alright, I'm going to start you off, I'm going to cross out, what the numbers I'd like you to start with is 6 and 7. 6 and 7. Um, if you could please answer 6 and 7, please put it in simplest radical form. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. We'll go back. Let's see how you did. All right, this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. We have our hypotenuse. So we're going to need to take it, uh, the 14, and divide by radical 2. When we do that, we need to multiply both the radical 2 on the numerator and denominator. And we will get 14 radical 2 over 2. Remember, we can simplify 14 radi uh, radical 2 over 2 to 7 radical 2. So x and y both equal 7 radical 2. All right. For our next one, is this is a 30, 60, 90. We have the hypotenuse. So what we need to find is our short leg and our long leg. Because we have our hypotenuse, we want to take our answer and divide by 2, which will give us our short leg, which will be 4. So x will equal 4 and our y will equal 4 radical 3. Awesome job, you guys. All right, for our next part, I'd like you to do number 9. Please answer number 9, and when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. Welcome back, you guys. Let's see how well you did. This is a 30, 60, 90. In our first example, we have been given the uh, long leg. So that means we need to find the short leg, which is x, and the hypotenuse, which is y. So what we're going to do is take 12 and divide by radical 3. When we do that, we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by radical 3. So we're going to get 12 radical 3 over 3. We divide 12 into 3 into 12, and we get 4 radical 3. 4 radical 3 is our x. And we're going to multiply uh, our short leg by 2. So we're going to take 4, we're going to take 2 times 4 radical 3. So we're going to multiply 2 and 4 together, which will give us our y, which will be 8 radical 3. All right, guys. If you can, please find the sine, cosine of a, the sine, cosine of a in 10 and 11. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. Welcome back, you guys. Let's see how well you did. All right, so here's our A, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse, cosine, um, excuse me, sine of A. So O, 2, radical 42, over our hypotenuse, which is 23. That is in simplest form, so we leave it alone. A, H, which is 19 over 23. That is in simplest form. We let it, we leave it alone. All right, TOA, O, A. So it would be 2 radical 42 over 19. That is in simplest form. We leave it alone. All right, so now we're going to do, we mark first, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. All right, we're going to start with sine of A. So OH, 9 over 12, which will simplify to 3 fourths. Our next one is cosine AH, which is 3 over set, radical 7 over 12. 3 and 12 can go into each other, so I'm going to keep it radical 7 in the numerator, but 3 can go into 12 four times. 
So it will be um, radical 7 over 4. All right, our next one, OA. So 9 over 3 radical 7. Remember, 3 can go into 9. So this can be simplified. So we can simplify this as 3 over radical 7. Remember, we cannot have a radical 7 in our denominator. So we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by radical 7. So what we're going to get is 3 radical 7 over 7. And that is what it will be simplified as. Awesome job, you guys. All right, guys, if you can please um, find the value of x, round your length segments to the nearest tenth and angles to the nearest degree. All right, if you can please do 12 through 15. 12 through 15. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. All right, welcome back. Let's see how well you did. All right, so this is opposite hypotenuse. So what we will have is sine x o over h. So that's 23 over 25. Remember that because we're finding an angle, it will be uh, the negative, the inverse. So 23 over 25. We put in our calculators. Remember, it's going to be x will equal 66.9, which will bring it to 67 as our answer. All right, mark, take a rule, opposite, we'll cross out, hypotenuse, adjacent. So this will be cosine 55 equals a 12 over x. We're going to divide because x is in the denominator, so x equals 12 divided by cosine 55, and we will get 20.9. Opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse, put an x here, so cosine x equals 9 over 18, a over h. Um, Remember, it will be the inverse, so cosine negative 1 equals 9. Oops. I'm going to erase that, not equals. We're going to put 9 over 18. We put in our calculators, and we'll get 60 degrees. Marker angle, adjacent, hypotenuse. Oops, not adjacent, cosine, uh, opposite. So it's going to be sine, so sine, 46, O over H, so 11 over X. We're going to divide because X is in the denominator. So X equal 11 divided by sine, 46. When we put in our calculators, we're going to get 15.3. Awesome job, you guys. Keep it up. All right, so... Next two would be 16 and 17. If you could please answer 16 and 17. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. All right, welcome back, you guys. Let's see how well you did. Mark your angle. O, A, so this would be tangent, X equals O over A, which is 25 over 13, because we're finding an angle, it will be the inverse, so tangent, negative 1, E25 over 13, and we'll get X equaling 63. All right, mark our angle, 25, opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent, excuse me. So this will be tangent also. 25 O over A, so X over 250. We'll multiply because the number is in the denominator, so X will equal 
250 times tangent 25 and x will equal 11 um, 116.6 feet awesome job you guys all right if you guys can please answer 18 and 19 please answer 18 and 19 and when you're ready please unpause the video when you're ready please unpause the video All right, welcome back, you guys. Angle, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. Cross out the O because we do not have a number. So this will be AH. So this would be cosine 32 equals X over 100. Because our number's in the denominator, we're going to multiply. X equals 100 times cosine 32, which will give us an answer of 84.8. All right, mark our angle, opposite, adjacent, so this will be tangent, 58, O over A, 50 over X, we will divide, X will equal 50 divided by tangent, 58, and we'll get an answer of 31.2. Great job, you guys. You can please answer now 20 and 21. 20 and 21. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. We'll go back, you guys. Let's see who you did. All right. A surveyor measures the top of a building at 50 feet away from him. His angle measures a device of four feet above the ground. The angle of elevation of the top of the building is 63 degrees to the nearest foot. How tall is the building? All right. So here's our person. So this here is four feet from the ground. We're looking above at our building here. We're kind of putting it like a box here. All right, and this will be X, and we're looking at it at 63 degrees. And we're 50 feet away. So 50 is kind of, I'm going to kind of draw that 50 also is going to go over here. So mark our angle opposite adjacent. All right, so this is going to be tangent 63 O over A, so X over 50. We're going to multiply 50 times tangent 63 and X will equal 91.98.1. is from here to here. We also have to account for four feet. So we have to add four feet to it. When we do that, we're going to get about 102. Because remember, we're, not going, we're going to the nearest foot. We have a point one, so we're going to just keep it as 102, 102 feet. All right, the forest ranger is looking out at a ranger station and sees a fire at 15 degrees of of uh, a 15 degree angle of depression. The forest positions 100 feet above the ground. How far from the ranger station to the fire? Round to your nearest foot. So we have this ranger station here. Okay. Boom, boom. There we go. Maybe a little landing. There we go. Bing. Here's our guy. He's looking out. We've got this fire going on. Okay, it's burning. All right, yeah, here we go. We got fire going on. All right, so when he looks out, do a different color. It's forming this right angle. Okay, remember for every angle of depression there's an angle of elevation, okay? 
So he's 100 feet above. All right, so from here to here, it's above. So we can bring, kind of bring our angle down this way. All right, because remember, alternate interior. So we're 100 feet above, so we can put our 100 here. And we want to know how far away the fire is, x. All right, so mark our angle. Opposite, adjacent. So this is tangent. 15 equals O, 100, over X. We're going to divide, take an answer, so 100, divided by tangent 15. I'm just going to do the division, so I decide not to. And we'll get X equaling 378. Awesome job, you guys. All right, last two problems. If you can please answer 22 and 23. Last two problems, 22, 23. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. Welcome back, you guys. All right. An airplane can see the top of a traffic control tower at 20 degrees of depression. The airplane is 5,000 feet from the tower. What is the altitude from the airplane to the nearest foot? All right. So we have this airplane. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. That's my airplane. Okay. And here is my tower. Let's kind of draw like a building right there. Boom. All right. It is so. What's happening is the pilot can see the top of the control tower at an angle of depression. So we're going to kind of draw our right triangle because remember we have a angle of depression. So that's twenty. All right. Um, and the airplane is 5,000 feet from the tower. All right. So our 5,000 will go here. We want to know what is the altitude. That's kind of like up and down from it. So remember for angle of, we're going to do alternate interior angles and put the 20 down here. So this is opposite hypotenuse. So this will be sine 20 equals x over 5,000. We're going to multiply 5,000 times sine 20. Remember, we're rounding to the nearest feet. So x will equal 1,710 feet. A person is standing 30 feet from a telephone pole to see the top of the pole at a angle of elevation, a 20, 35 degree angle of elevation. The person's eye level is 5 feet from the ground. Find the height of the flagpole to the nearest tenth. So we've got this person, this dude. We have the flagpole here, boom. Here's our pretty flag, boom, boom, boom. X, all right? Now, what we're, what's happening is we're forming an angle. I'm going to actually write in a different cut, 35 here. Oops, I'm going to redraw that because that looks very hard to see. So 35 here. All right, so we want to know, I'm going to put my X a little bit better. We want to know the flagpole itself. So this is X. All right, and from here to here, it's 5 feet. So we know part of it. We're going to find the other part. All right, and we're 30 feet away, so 30 will go there. All right. 
so we mark our take our angle opposite opposite that's not opposite that's adjacent so let me kind of fix that opposite adjacent so this will be tangent 35 x over 30 we uh, multiply 30 times tangent 35 and we'll get 21.00 <coughs> to get our official height we need to add in our five feet so we need to add five to it so we're going to get we are going to round to the nearest foot so we're not going to count this point zero zero six we're going to add 21 to 5 and our flagpole equals 26 feet alright guys um, this is the end of your optional unit 7 practice uh, test um, if you have any questions or concerns please email me um, stay safe and have a good day alright bye bye guys